<laughs> Speaking of stocks plummeting. What? Jingle Bling crying about how people are trying to take food out of his kids' mouths. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he's gotten political all of a sudden. Even though he said, you know, that we couldn't cancel him. Right. It's the same thing with the whole Twitter thing. Like, you know. Exactly. Uh, so this comedian, so to speak. I'm ready for this. <laughs> is crying now because supposedly people are trying to ban him. and Or stop his take shows his, from happening. Take his freedom of speech. Bro, ain't nobody doing that. If anything, you've banned people from trying to comment on your posts. So mm-hmm. think about that. Right. You've you've blocked people from even uh, liking to it interact. to even join the group. Right. To interact with you. To have the conversation. So who's blocking who? Right. 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 But his whole thing was to start a conversation. Right. But now he don't want to have that conversation. Keep that same energy, bro. Exactly. <laughs> so so this individual decided around. Actually, this first day of election, because I think he thought he was going to win, mm-hmm. and he wanted to get on his high horse and be correct, right? Right. And, and, you know, at the time, I was like, this is a joke. Right. Right. I think we were waiting for the ha-ha, just kidding, you know? Exactly. And make a point out of it. You know how right. some comedians do? They'll, yeah. they'll do it with sarcasm. Right, absolutely. And then like, oh, shit. That's the genius you find in them of how they use comedy to make their points, right? Raise awareness. Yeah. So, so okay. And then that was his whole thing. Um, I See, no one was having this conversation. I started this conversation. No, you just basically showed who you were. True colors. This whole time. Your, right. your true colors. That's all you really did. What What would you call... What would you call... Because you know how like, they call like black people that think they're white Oreos? What would you call... A brown person. Oh, coconut. A coconut. Yeah. Well. Right. And, and yeah, yeah. But see, <laughs> this, you know, I'm going to say he's full of shit. He's, you know, chingo bling is what? A lot of bling, right? Mm. So it's chingo shit. Pretty much. A lot of shit. Because he's full <laughs> of shit. All right. This man comes out and says, here's why I voted for Trump. And then didn't really have a point other than to say that he was secure now and I can show who I really am, who I've been this whole time after portraying himself as an immigrant. Right. Now, he, all of a sudden, he's not an Im- He was never one. And then he tries to use his mom, you know, essentially as a scapegoat to sort of, he, he doesn't say it exactly, but... That's what he's doing. He's using her now as to explain why he was doing what he was doing, Mm -hmm. that he understood, but yet not really. He's just not doing a very well good job at it. It's just self-hatred. That's all really what it comes down to Uh, because, you know, looking back at all all his material is just, you know, what you would, you know, I guess for brown people, what what you would say is, you know, like you have black face. This is brown face. That's He's been doing a mockery of it the whole time. For sure. And he still continues to. For sure, a lot of self-hate, for sure. Right, because, you know, and I won't be surprised if he already took it down, but, you know, uh, maybe in December, you know, after the election was pretty much wrapping up, he, he tried to make another skit where he's like, Mexican dads be like, and, you know, it's himself talking like he's well you know acting as if he's talking to his daughter right so he's acting out of father in the truck talking to his daughter like no mija you know we don't vote you know that's not us we don't do that who needs to vote you know because voting doesn't change anything right let's cut the crap out though like we all know every you know whatever culture subculture group of people all have criminals all have geniuses all have assholes all have ignorant people. We right. all have all those types of people. Right. Stop. Stop with that. <laughs> right. Oh, you know, like, you, you, we know what you're doing. So that's you having a personal issue with something amongst your, where you lived or whatever. 
Maybe they didn't treat you like you wanted to be treated. I don't know. Who knows? But it, you're showing it, you know, through all this going on. Um, but it's really a joke. It's really a joke. And now he's trying to backtrack. Slow, slowly, though. Slow. Slowly. He's not. He's trying to balance he it hasn't, out now. Yeah, he hasn't come right out like how he did with the election as far as saying, like, this is who I'm voting for, like, pretty much left field that it came out of that wasn't something we we're expecting right right right, right. and then um try to promote having the conversation um and a lot of it when it first came out seemed to be about his tax bracket and how much he was going to be paying in taxes and uh, the biggest reason was that it was going to hurt his pockets and that's why he's a conservative because exactly and now, like, if you go on on his page, someone brought that up again. And then he's like, that's not even the, like, main point. But I'm like, but when you gave your explanation, that was your main point. Initial, yeah. Initially, when you explained why you decided to vote that way was because it was going to hurt your pockets. Right. And now he's like that, like you're, you know, that's not what I was seeing. Like that, y'all just jumped, and I'm like, no, 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 no. That's you, what you were. Cause, you said because all his right, right. Because all, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but all his replies in the beginning were, I explained it in a video. I explained it in a video. That's right. all he was saying. I explained it to everyone commenting. I explained it in a video. I explained it in a video. So I was like, okay, that's it. I still commented, but I was like. Okay, that's what he's going to tell me, too. Right. So I go and watch the video. And just as France explained, that's all he was talking about is the the tax bracket, you know, whose pockets are going to hurt mo more now. Because he's talking about himself. He's not even talking about us and having this and, fucking and, conversation. Right. And no, that, bro, you weren't talking about that at right. all. So stop playing. Yeah, and then now, <laughs> like, we've said it slowly... Now he's trying to bring up other reasons when really what his wording was the the major reason was money. Of course, there were other smaller things that made him realize because that's what he said. Like I came to the realization right. that I'm uh, on more on the conservative side, right? And let me just say the money he made off of the people he's making fun of or has right. been making fun of this right. entire time, right? And now that he's gone to where he feels like comfortable which obviously not so because he's worried about right. how much money you yeah know. oh which uh, speaking of which because yeah recently he's thrown his own family in there oh they're trying to keep uh what is it food out their mouths yeah like they're taking food out of my children's mouths because they're they're now trying to um you know uh cancel his shows like <laughs> apparently People in College Station were, like, calling the venue, which I'm pretty sure must have been, like, one person that was, like, let me. And he's right. trying to, like... My thing has always been, like, I feel like he was trying to be controversial. Like, clickbait. Right. Right. Like, that's all it's been. Yeah. It's been that because Anthony was the one told me he did this and he dropped a project. Right. After he says exactly. so, it just kind of came off like how how we talked about Kanye doing, and that probably didn't work either. Right, and it, it really if if that was the strategy to be a troll, right? How like Takashi has done, right? It worked against him because no one bothered with the music. Everyone bothered with what the message he was like. No one gave a fuck about the music anymore. You right. know, and they didn't. They like, hadn't been. It, and they hadn't been. He, that's why he got into comedy was because right. the rap wasn't wasn't bringing in the money like it used to. He said it. I've been at his show before. Right. He said it himself. That was a line in his skit. Yeah, this rap shit ain't working no more. That's so why we're doing I'm comedy. Trying, right. So, um, it just it just goes to show how it really was about that. And now that he's seeing that. Okay, maybe we didn't fully cancel him. Like I've said before, make cancel culture is kind of, you know, it's very wishy-washy. It never really goes through. But now that he's seeing that it's hurting him and it's going to hurt his children's future, now he's slowly trying to do a lot of, um, what's that? What's that word? Uh, retract? Well, not just retract, but because it's more of like, um, fuck, what's the word? 
he's trying to do a lot of cleanup. But it, they have another they have another term for it when it comes to being like a celebrity, um, how they how they word it. But for sure, they're trying to do a lot of well. It's not the right word, but he's trying to clean up his image and just, like, you know, more balance out what he's been saying to, like, warm <laughs> his way back into where he was at, you know? And, and also, you know, he's really just talking about the people that have been commenting. Right. You know, and, you know, he got on there and he's like, they try to stop me and I'm here, bitch. That's all. He's, he's talking about us commenting on his, on his fucking shit. That's all he's talking about. That's who he's really talking about. And, um, but right. So, but shortly after, again, uh, what he was also doing during that election was, you know, subliminally saying, oh, but who's stupid, right? Because he owns his masters to his uh, music. You know, he just kept doing these little things like pretty much saying, I'm good. You know, right. like he's secure. That's why he's, he was so comfortable to talk all that shit. Right. But somehow now he's sort of kind saying of, the opposite of that. Right. Like now he's like, hold up, now y'all are like, now y'all crossing the line. Even though right. he said that, is it because no one's buying the old projects anymore? You see, you 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 put that out there. Now people are probably not even getting that out. That's what happens anymore. when you try you try to be too cocky about what you think you have and that supposedly better than everybody pro- else. Well, no, that that these that. <laughs> We uh, sometimes what people will do is they think like I've gotten to a certain a certain point and no matter what I say, like he said, he's good. But when he realizes that now, hold up, maybe I was a little wrong and they are supporting me financially, you know, and now that I'm seeing that they're not even listening to my old shit, right? Not trying to cancel his shows. Now, all of a sudden, like, now he's worried. Honestly, I, like, you know. Yeah, know. and he's trying to use... He's being Donald Trump right now. Oh, now they're trying to ban me. You see? This is the the, the freedom of speech. It's, is, that, is that, you know, what is it? Is that stake? Bro, ain't nobody... The, who said, you know... Really, no, to no be honest. No one's banning you. There's a <laughs> difference. It's just they don't fuck with you anymore. Right. It's not banning That's it. You. We're just right. leaving. Like, ban- okay, we're cool. Right. Because. We're you- unsubscribing. We're unfollowing, right. bro. It's you, a difference. You literally said you didn't. You, if we didn't, you know, fuck with what you were saying, then by all means hit the unfollow. And we did. Yeah. And now all of a sudden it's like, now you're trying to fuck with my. No, bro. You told us. I won't fuck with you. Don't follow me. Don't support me. This is what happens when you literally tell people to do this. It's okay to have difference of opinions. That's normal. Part of that is we don't have to follow you. We don't have to support you. Like, what did you think that we were going to have a difference of opinion? Okay, like, this is the thing. Because a lot of immigrants, like how he's saying, like, if they're not legal, they can't vote. And like I've said before, if people can't vote you know, at the elections, the biggest thing that causes a difference is voting with your dollar and where your money goes. That right. has a bigger or just as big as an, of an impact as voting. So if you like, you know, like how if you could have like um, a criminal record and you're felon, it obviously uh, hinders you from voting. What you do instead is like, OK, since I don't agree with certain like companies, I'm just not going to spend my money there. Eventually, it's gonna, they're going to realize, oh, shit, like, if there's enough of us doing it, like, what's happening right now with Chicken Bling, now it's like, we need to now change something, which is what he's doing, and try to do a lot of, like, oh, shit, let me try to fix this. Right. You know? So, and just to wrap his shit up, supposedly, he, he, he's the one that began this conversation. Well, he was trying to be the leader of a conversation that supposedly we needed to have started. Bro, then this should have started years ago. Because apparently you've been feeling like this since who knows when. Right. And too bad, bro. <laughs> it ain't going to be you. <laughs> it's not you. So it's chingo shit. <laughs> and uh, th- that's where we're going to leave it at that. Yeah. Pretty much, you know. Agree. That's it.